Well, hello, and uh, welcome back to uh, another episode of uh, me going out taking photographs and having trees blown right in my face. It's fantastic, isn't it? So, uh, <laughs> I wasn't there when I set up. Um, yeah, so, I'm still stuck in West Lothian. We're still in lockdown. We're not allowed to leave the county. So, uh, you know, I can't even go as far as, say, Fife or the Kelpies or any of these places, which are quite relatively close, you know, even Edinburgh, out of bounds, no chance. So, where I've come, I'm in this woodland just now. Uh, it's, it's really close to my house. I live about five minutes in that direction, which is, you know, it's nice to have this on our doorstep, kept us going through the last lockdown, and it's keeping me going through this one. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, usually what you can do with this path is walk straight through here and straight through here. Unfortunately, we've had a lot of rain over the last few weeks, and what we're looking at now is a huge puddle right across the path. So we have got these, these lovely trees here. I mean, that usually just sits there, um, the path working around it. And it's fairly dull, but I think having the, the water around it actually uh, improves it slightly. Improves it a great deal, in fact. Gives it this lovely, lovely reflection. Focus up, and off we go. So that gets that shot out of the way. Um, but I didn't actually come here to get a picture of these woods, picturesque as they are. Um, and I do have one in mind for later on, a shot, uh, if I have the time. I may not, might save it for a different vlog. But we'll see, we shall see. However, this is uh, kind of en route to where I'm going. So, while I'm talking, I should probably address some of the issues that I had with uh, my photographs from the Great Glenway, which uh, the series just finished for yourselves a couple of weeks ago. For me, we did it back in October, which is about two months ago now, just over two months since we completed it. So, um, I personally, there were some nice pictures there. But, you know, looking at them, looking at the settings I chose, and things like that. And I'm thinking to myself when I was processing, I'm thinking, why on earth did I do it like that? Why on earth did I choose um, Aperture? What did I use, F11 or something for woodland shots? Which is, you know, you don't want that. You want it to be nice and smooth and a bit out of focus where you're not wanting to focus and things like that. So you want to use a nice low aperture, F4, something like that. I didn't. And uh, all I could put it down to is, you know, tiredness, I suppose. Uh, I was doing the handheld thing as well, a lot. Um, and I was experimenting just with holding ISO auto, because I just had to do it for speed. You know, you're walking kind of 10, 11, 12 miles a day. You know, you want it to be as quick as possible because you've got to focus on getting to your destination as well as getting photographs. So, yeah, hey, what was I saying? Aye, handheld, that's what I did. Set it to ISO Auto. Had intended pulling out the aperture to whatever I needed. Didn't happen. So, however, try and rectify it over the next few weeks with any more shots that I do. Uh, see if we can get any that actually prove I know what I'm doing, you know. <laughs> as much as anything. So anyway, we'll work our way through these woods. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, it's hell of a muddy here. I suppose that's almost to be expected, but as I said, we walked through these woods before, uh, during the lockdown, before first lockdown, back in maybe April, May. And it was tremendous. But here I'm just, actually this bit's not too bad, but further back where that big puddle was, I was sinking. Hands got filthy when I was setting up the tripod, you know. One of these days I should remember and bring gloves. So that's me, I've come through the woods and uh, out the other side now. And uh, we're into this more kind of open space. There's a kind of pond just over here, but no idea what it's called. 
what I want to show you is a, a kind of remnant of West Lothian's history here because uh, the county as it was um, about what, 150 years ago or so they discovered shale oil here and this was where the world's first oil rush happened here in West Lothian um, they discovered that by applying some kind of chemical process to shale, I don't know what it is um, they could uh, create oil and there's a huge industry built up around that where you've got industry you need uh, something to service it and there was all sorts of uh, wee train lines uh, mini not, not miniature railways, narrow gauge railways which served uh, the served all the, the mines and whatnot. So that's what I'm hoping to capture. Uh, oops. Just let me tell you what. I'm not going to grab a photo, but I'll show you a photo I took earlier in the year of where we are here. Now I got a picture of this. I'll show you that in a second. Just this gate here with the sun going down uh, a lot further west because it was the summer catching the light in that gate and it made a very nice picture, so I'll show you that now. Climb down the embankment there and I've got myself all set up. Now as you'll have seen there, what we're looking at is a, an old bridge, an old railway viaduct that uh, at one time served the, uh, the bings of the shale oil industry, which was one of them. Across there, there was loads and loads and loads of uh, oil processing plants, oil works um, all around here. So it was Adiwell Oil Works across there and that's what this, uh, this railway line serviced. Just as I understand it, a wee narrow gauge railway which uh, ran along to, I'm not entirely certain, I'm sure I can look it up at some point, but ran along that way anyway. Um, probably joined up with the main line at some some point, transferred all the processed oil and whatnot into the main line and away off to wherever they needed it. So anyway, yeah, enough history. Um, I've come down, as I say, down to the, the river bank and I'm trying to get a nice shot of the bridge. Now what I did try for earlier on, I might have another shot when I come back up. There's something a bit more dynamic with the bridge kind of facing, uh, kind, of, kind of side on, so you're looking straight down it. But as it is, I've not got that. Um, what I've got here is just uh, the river coming in from the side. Let me just switch on the, uh, switch on the movie so we can see the picture here. Uh, oh, look at that. I'll turn that down a tad. There we go, right. Uh, so yeah, we've got the river coming in at the side. Here, bridge straight across, so everything's kind of leading to kind of this point here where the trees are. Um, I might just, I'm not sure, but I might just uh, crop this down to a, a 4x5. Um, I'll see when I get to the, the processing stage. Uh, it's quite nice as the picture goes, I've got a bit of a reflection going on. Um, I would have preferred, given the choice, to have had a, a wider angle lens because what would have been ideal in actual fact to get the bridge kind of smaller in the picture at the moment it's quite dominant um i would have preferred to have got a bit further back there but i'm only wearing my walking boots they are waterproof but uh, i suspect that never looks like come up, come up to my knees so i'm not sure i fancy that nevertheless let me switch this off there we go um and i shall i shall just focus up first there we go focusing on the bridge Remember to turn the aperture back up. I'm looking back up at f11 now, which has given me roughly half a second or so, give or take. And uh, let's just grab that shot. Here we go. One, two, three, click.
So yeah, that's uh, that's that shop. I've come just back a wee bit now and I'm looking at uh, the bridge from a different angle. But really what I'm looking at now, you probably can't see it in that camera, but there is a nice kind of copper birch, uh, beach, copper beach um, tree just in front of the bridge here. And it's just giving it a nice bit of color. Uh, so I've taken the, um, taking the aperture right down to f4 and the bridge should be nice and soft in the picture we'll see but uh, yeah so right down at f4 uh, bridge in the background rather than the foreground it's really a picture of the the copper beach itself rather than the um, the bridge so I'll just grab that one two three click Just a wee bit further along from where the picture with that copper beach was and I'm just looking back at the bridge now um, and this might be it's quite a nice one again uh, so yeah I'll just show you the the movie so as you can see it we've got leading lines leading lines meeting up over here as well as the bridge meeting up straight in over here um, again never going to win any kind of uh, competitions or anything like that it's not portfolio level shot but you know it's not too bad uh let me just there we go it's a quick play around with the polarizer get some of that sheen off the the track down here do you see the difference there that's it on that's it off right and that's much nicer so anyway just let me switch this off i've not quite got it level yet either hang on just switch that off there blah 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 there ish okay that's a bit better mm -hmm. right So, yeah, that's the shot again, nice and easy. I'm facing almost into the sun. So uh, I'll just turn up. In fact, what I'll do, I don't know if I'll get it. I might do, yeah. I'm right up at F22, so hopefully I can just make out the sun in the corner there. Hopefully we might get, if we're lucky, a wee, um, what do you call it, a star thing. Right, <laughs> here we go. I know all the technical terms, we, yeah. Well, I'm going to call it a day at that. Um, I was hoping to catch uh, some sunset over the the Bings later on, but I've not quite left myself enough time, I don't think, to get there, get set up and, and get the picture. So we'll leave it. We'll call, call that for another uh, another vlog later on. Put one in the bank, you know. So yeah, that's it. Call it a day. Um, just if you would do the usual, that would be great. You know, like, comment, subscribe hit the bell icon, blah de blah de blah fantastic. And yeah, all that remains for me to say now is uh, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>